At this time, the court calls cause number 04081971, the State of Texas versus Joseph Allen Harlan, Jr. Will the parties please enter their appearances and announce for the record? Melissa Kraft, appearing on behalf of the State of Texas. The State is ready for trial, Your Honor. Brandon Fletcher, appearing on behalf of the defendant. We're ready to proceed. Very good. Will the jury please stand? Please raise your right hand and after the oath respond, I do. Do you and each of you solemnly swear that you will, in the case of the State of Texas versus Joseph Allen Harlan Jr., a true verdict render according to the law and the evidence, so help you God? Please be seated. Very well, the, the case will proceed as follows. The state will have five minutes to present opening statements, after which the defense may do as well. The state will then present its case, followed by the defense. Once both parties have rested, we will hear closing arguments, and then the jury will take the case to deliberation. Any questions? Uh, no, no questions, questions Your Honor. <laughs> Is there something you find amusing, Counselor? Uh, <laughs> no, Your Honor. Um, the prosecutor and I, we have history. That's wonderful, Counselor. When I ask questions and I ask for a response, please respond accordingly. If not, you'll be history in my court and I'll hold you in contempt. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Are there any questions for me? No. Then, Ms. Kraft, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'll be brief because this is a simple case. My name is Melissa Kraft and I represent the state of Texas in this case against the defendant, Joseph Allen Harlan Jr. Halloween is a night of fun, trick-or-treating, costumes, and parties. <coughs> but for Christy Wise, Halloween was truly a night of horror. The evidence will show that, like many of the other college students, her night began with fun, dress-up, and laughter and it ended in a hospital bed, fighting off a near-fatal overdose of rohypnol, the date-rape drug, after having been raped by the defendant, Joseph Harlan Jr. The prosecution will present evidence that will show beyond reasonable doubt that Joseph Harlan stalked and then drugged Christy Wise without her consent. And that when he was quite literally caught in the act by Christie's roommate, he fled the scene of the crime, leaving his victim naked and unconscious. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Fletcher, and I represent Joe Harlan Jr. You have just heard the prosecution claiming to have evidence proving beyond a reasonable doubt that my client raped Christy Wise, that he willfully stalked Christy Wise and drugged her with the sole intent of having his wicked way with her. I, on the other hand, will present and prove to you the reality that like most young adults, Joe Harlan and Christy Wise, met at a Halloween party. They had a few drinks, maybe even a few too many. And then Miss Wise invited my client back to her apartment where they both, as two consenting adults, had sex. In fact, you will hear from Christy in her own words. You will hear her recount how she planned on having relations that night with my client and how she intended on rewarding him as her prince for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a rape case. And the evidence you will hear this evening will prove it. Thank you.